Tonight, there's controversy surrounding a social media posting by Virginia Wesleyan University. It was meant to support the Black Lives Matter movement. Then the comments came in, some negative. But when those comments were deleted, things really got tense, and members of the school's alumni association quit. Tonight on your side, Jason Marks is looking into where things went wrong. I firmly believe that every single student that walks on this campus and every other campus shouldn't be faced with any kind of discrimination, black, white, or indifferent. But today, Virginia Wesleyan alum Sydney Covey is wondering about her school. Covey says she was recently removed from the university's alumni council after voicing her concerns on race. Being on the alumni council, I've been expected to act a certain way um, and talk a certain way, and so I knew that I was kind of already stepping out of that, so I kind of anticipated some kind of reaction. Covey commented on a post in early June on the university's Facebook page. The school posted its support for diversity and inclusion. But right after, staff began deleting comments from African American alumni and current students who were sharing their negative experiences on campus. And then I also was moved as a biracial member of the Alumni Council to really speak about what had happened. The mixed messages from the university prompted the Alumni Council's chair and vice chair to resign. I think the university needs to read all those comments, the 175 comments and 62 shares and realize that there might be something there that needs to be addressed. I understand that, but I don't fully agree with it. University President Scott Miller is quick to point out initiatives such as financial support for underprivileged students, hiring a chief diversity officer, and being the hub for the Virginia Center for Inclusive Communities. Miller says Covey was asked to take a pause from her council duties because she used her position to voice her opinion. As of right now, there are no plans to reinstate Covey back to council though she says she wouldn't come back. Right now, she's exploring her legal options. Miller tells Ted in her side changes will be made when it comes to deleting comments from now on. I will apologize on behalf of the institution for, for, what, was, uh, for what was perceived in a, in a negative way. And Miller tells me he directed staff to put more instructions on the Facebook page to let people know what can and can't be posted. That's the latest here in Virginia Beach. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.